Well, today on Nation, we're talking about loving thy neighbor. Well, more importantly, how to work the connections that you may get with other window cleaners, conventions, uh, everything and everything. So stick around, hang out, hopefully you find a thing or two that is useful. But either way, stay tuned for WCR Nation. What's going on everybody? Jersey here from WCRWindowCleaner.com and I have a cold so I'm sorry in advance if it sounds awful but you just have to deal with it. Um, but you're here. Thanks for checking us out. If it's your first time, have a look around. Uh, we have lots of episodes. Over 100 episodes. Go back, listen to all of them. You are going to at least tolerate most of them. Hopefully you like a few of them. Um, but uh, you'll get a thing or two out of a lot of them. And if you are part of the elite, one of the cool kids, somebody who orders through me, yeah, what's going on? It is because of you that I get name brand spaghetti sauce. Name brand ketchup, man. I will go ketchup. I get the Heinz. The Heinz 57. Because you know what? You guys buy through me. And uh, I make some cheddar and uh, buy the fancy stuff. But if you want to buy from me, my number is 862-312-2026. That is my cell. So you can text it, call it, whatever you want. Message me on Facebook, like my Instagram, Jersey, WCR Nation, all of that fun stuff. But really, guys, it truly is super, super awesome that uh, you let me put your orders in. I get so many people who are like, yo, Jersey, it's in my cart. What's up? And they tell me what kind of fancy item I can buy because I got to put the order in. So that's pretty awesome. Thank you guys for doing that. It's super cool. Um, but yeah, buy your stuff from me. That's how I make my cheddar. It costs you no extra and it's like an awesome high five. And uh, yeah, we run reps. I want to be your rep, your personal rep, your guy. Somebody you ask questions to as much as you buy. So definitely hook up, save that number. Just introduce yourself. Be like, what's up? If you're watching this on YouTube, that's where the conversation is. So if you're not going to YouTube, Comment, write where, who you are, where you're from, give us some tips, we'll talk back and forth. I love when you guys chat. It takes two seconds, just type it in and be like, yo, and tell me something awesome. Tell me something awesome about your company or about you, and uh, I would totally dig that. But this week, I got a couple shout outs for you guys. First and foremost, Danger Mouse. What's going on, man? Uh, he's a YouTube guy, and uh, he asked some good questions, so I appreciate it. By the way, if you get your famous shout out for a whole week, <laughs> I don't know, then uh, comment on YouTube, I get a lot of the names from there, uh, also guys that order from me, I just pick random stuff, so Jared Lowe, the man, what's going on man, uh, Richard Sordia, Isordia, 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 dude, I'm butchering your name, sorry, you're dealing with it, that's, that's, that's how I'm going to say it, because I'm butchering it, but uh, Neko Wank, Neko Wink, what's going on, man? Uh, you guys are all amazing and awesome in your own right, so thank you very much for everything. Um, but this week we're talking about working with the... What, working? Work? Really? Work the network. See, this is what happens when you make a title. That's like a tongue twister. You just screw it up, and then you guys have to listen to it. But work the network. What does this mean? Listen... Networking is one of those things that I personally beat with a bat. I just beat it into the ground. Because to me, I do a lot of networking. You guys know I'm on the phone 13 hours a day. On forums, Facebook groups, all that stuff. I try to be everywhere. It's so hard. It's so hard. But I try. And uh, networking is huge, man. I've met some of the most amazing people through networking and like we say, we do videos for the huge convention twice a week now as it's rolling into the convention season. Um, but those people that you meet, it literally, I could go anywhere in the country and have a couch to sleep on somewhere. I mean, yes, that sounds weird, but just like the camaraderie is just amazing. I don't know that it's in any other industry, but it sure, cer certainly is here. <sighs> it's going to be a long day of talking, I swear. Um, but yeah, networking is awesome. It is awesome. Now, there's a few ways to network, a few ways to talk, a few ways not to do it because that's just as valuable. Doing it wrong sucks and uh, you screw everything up. There's so much you get out of it. And I got a couple stories that I want to chat with you real quick, let you know why it's worked for me in the past and kind of just explain some things. So I have a guy 
who he lived about 45 minutes away from my house and I met at a convention, which was actually a picnic years ago in Wisconsin. And uh, I just met him. He just kind of like took me under his wing. I was new. You know, I had guys at the show giving me tools because I was new and I had never heard of a bucket on a belt at the time. The first one, they gave me that. Um, but this other guy that I knew and met and, and learned from really took me under his wing. And no, he didn't get anything out of it. It just was an awesome thing that he wanted to do. He's like, I'm a new guy. And I had not only subbed work from him, gotten work from him, sent him work, you know, out of our range. We made those boundaries. Here's how far down you want to go. Here's how far up we want to go. We're not stepping on each other's toes. Let's just send each other work. But I got great contracts from him, and uh, it really, really worked out. Well, one time, I'm on a building. This is a larger building, and it was an oversized, and I did the dumb thing. Listen, we all were dumb in the beginning, and this is where my business PTSD came, comes in. But I had a poll, and I'm like, ah, it'll, it'll reach. Well, the stupid thing about thinking a poll will reach, when deep down inside you know it's not, is that when it doesn't reach, it's it. That's it. You're done. You know? And that's really what it was. It was one of those where I could not get to the top of the building. It was just SOL. So I called him up. I'm like, hey, what can I do? Like, can I do this from a ladder? No, man. Don't do it from a ladder. Ladders, blah, blah, blah. How, how tall you got to get? Man, I got to get, uh, I think at the time it was like 40, uh, four stories with a water feb. Four stories, man. But I just got this one pole. It was like a 23 footer or something. The first pole ever. He's like, well, come up. Push the job to tomorrow. Come up, grab one of my poles, use it, and bring it back. I said, what? So yeah, just come on up. Grab something, use it, and bring it back. I said, okay. Now, mind you, this guy is competition to me. I mean, we were even before the whole let's not step on toes thing. But this guy just knew me. Like, it was one of those situations where there was no other way I'd have to do it. Like, I would have had to buy a whole new pole before I was ready to... Then wait for everything. When I finally got it, use it, set it up, blah, 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 blah. It was like, it was this awesome, awesome thing that he did and got me out of the bind. And uh, the pole that I used was like a super exclusive, wasn't even out yet. He was like beta testing thing was like $2,400. Poles were very expensive then. And uh, because I'm such a, just a smart fella, I left two sections of that pole on the job site in a flower bed. And sent it back. He's like, dude, I got eight sections. Supposed to be ten sections. Whatever it was. It's like, uh, are you sure? He's like, yeah. Mmm. Like, so I quick drove down there. Nighttime with a flashlight. Found them. Nobody stole them because nobody knew what they were. Whew, drove them back up. But that's the kind of thing that you can get from networking. He sent me business. Good, good accounts. Accounts he didn't want to do. Just accounts he got. Like, oh, yeah, I need you to do five of these or four of those. I need them done every two weeks. Like, wrote stuff, and it was great. It was great. We've even done jobs where there were houses, where it was apartment complexes, and he had a bunch of units. He's like, hey, meet me up there. My guys will be down there. We'll just rock them out. Charge me for your time. Sweet. Like, stuff like that was absolutely amazing. Having somebody like that is amazing. Another story. I had a guy that was in the city over, but he was very close. And this is the other way. We're talking 15 minutes to the heart of one city to the heart of the other city. They're basically right on each other. And I had seen this guy a few times because he did a bunch of places that we did it in the plaza. And I'd always stop and say, my big thing is I want to talk to every single window cleaner. We'll get to that. Right? I want to introduce myself, talk shop, and just let him know. And I did it to this guy. Did it to him. I've seen him eight times. Every time. Man, you got to come up. Come up, meet us at our offices, I'll buy you lunch. Like, let's just talk. We'll talk shop, you know. Oh, yeah, no, I got to get up there. Next time I see him. Hey, you didn't visit me, man. Come visit. Oh, yeah, I got to go. So he shows up. One day he calls me. He goes, hey. He says, um, it was rain day, actually. He goes, we got rained out, and I could really use some lunch. I said, awesome. Come on up. Comes up. Meet him in my office. He's walking around. And we have a shop and everything. Man, I can't believe this. Yeah, we're talking shop. I didn't quite get where he was going. He just says, this is so, you guys are just so big. I, I, I just can't believe that you could get this big. I thought there was no money in window cleaning. And I said, no, there's, you know, really good money in window cleaning. And uh, long story short, before we went to lunch, he gave me his company. Now, preface that. He had lawn care company and window cleaning. And as much as he just kind of wanted to 
maybe do one or the other. He was like, I am never going to compete with you. I said, oh, man, it's not about competing. It's about just working together. He's like, no. He's like, that's uh, now I know why I always see you guys. Like, just take my stuff. Take my accounts. Just do them well. I'm like, okay, what, what should I give you for it? He's like, We're, you're buying me lunch. Now, this wasn't a monster company. I think we picked up, I don't know, 25 storefronts, maybe. Small route, small guy. But 25 storefronts that I just got. Just got for free and built a friend. Right? How cool is that? Not that that's going to happen every time, but that's the kind of stuff that you get from uh, working with a com- competition. Um, subbing is huge. If you're not subbing work out or you're not getting work subbed to you, then you're missing an opportunity. There really, really is a great opportunity uh, for that. It really is. And if you're watching this on YouTube, I turned my heat off yesterday because I am sick. And uh, I think my fever broke and it is so hot here. So I, I apologize for my my glistening here on, on camera. But anyway, um, so that's, the, that's the, the basic part of why you want to. But here is the thing that people really fall into having a problem is the way that they get into it is uh, they just go, ah, oh, hey, I just want to be really friendly. I go up to somebody who's cleaning windows and say, hey, how are you? I'm a competitor window cleaner. ha. Huh? And those people are like, ah, you're just here to steal my stuff, right? So it's got to be done a certain way. The big thing with it, you got to remember, is a dog park, okay? Dog park is a neutral place. You can go to a dog park. I've been to dog parks tons of times. Not that it never has happened, but I've never seen a fight. Dogs just get along. All dogs get along. Yeah, I mean, people whose dogs hate other dogs don't necessarily bring them to dog parks. You can't help those ones. Like, you can't help all the window cleaners that just hate everyone. But they all play really, really well together. Well, you're not at a dog park, you're in a dog's backyard. If you go up to somebody on the job and they're cleaning a window, you're in that dog's backyard. Now, you could take my dog, Spuds. You guys probably have heard or seen or whatever. Best dog in the world. Uh, he get, doesn't really have a leash. He kind of carries it around sometimes. But he just he sits with me. He works with me. He comes to the shop with me. He just does everything with me. It's just chill. You bring a dog and you put him in my backyard... He will chase him around and not violent, but he definitely is a little perturbed because you brought him to his backyard. It's the same thing with window cleaning. If you're in somebody else's yard, right? If you're at somebody's house uh, or commercial storefront or whatever, it's really hard to walk up and not look threatening, not make them feel threatened because you're a competitor. We know they're out there, but every time they're there, you know, everybody's kind of scowling. That's what you really run into. So the thing to do is introduce yourself. Introducing yourself is, I personally, if I see somebody on a job site, I just walk up and I don't even open up a big conversation. I just, hey, man, what's going on? Hey, it's, uh, Jersey here with XYZ. Uh, here's my card. I just give my card. Give me a call sometime, man. I just love to meet other window cleaners around. I'm going to get out of your hair. I know you're working, but real nonchalant. Like, oh, yeah. Maybe they threw it away. Sometimes they call. Sometimes they just keep it. I have had calls from other window cleaners. Like, ah, two years ago, you gave me your card. I'm looking to sell my business, right? I've gotten that. Um, so they keep it potentially. Sometimes they don't. I've called people. But the biggest thing is I see people in traffic. If you see somebody in traffic, you're basically at a dog park. At that point, you can roll over and wait, hey, man, what's up? You uh, loving this weather, I bet. Open the conversation, yeah. You see somebody at the store, like, oh, window clean. Like, when you see people, don't just skirt around it. Open it up. Be like, hey, man, yeah, Jersey with XYZ window cleaning. Yeah, dude, I'd love to meet up, just hang out sometime, talk shop. You know? Building that in a neutral area drops the fence so when they do see you on a job, they're like, oh, what's up? I've seen guys where I've talked to. I've met a guy in an Arby's. He was eating, not cleaning. And, um... Met him, we were talking to him, introducing. We were four deep and he was one. So I think he might have felt a little intimidated. But we're like, oh, yeah, super nice guys. Oh, definitely. How long have you guys been doing? Oh, we've been in business this long. Uh, Gary here has been with me for four or five years, whatever it was at the time. And uh, we were telling all this stuff. We're like, dude, let's hang out, man. We go out afterwards. We just kind of, uh, you know, uh, shoot the poo a little bit. Uh, have a drink, talk. We have open tabs at a couple places we clean. Just come hang out, man. I was like, oh, dude, that's awesome. Like, two weeks later, he called me. He was like, hey, man, what are you guys uh, doing tonight? I said, oh, come on down, man. 
we had on Friday, the, the day that we had it was a ping pong tournament that we, we had done at the shop. But we were like, we're doing this ping pong tournament, man. There's going to be a bunch of people here. we got a keg and whatever. We're just hanging out. He's like, oh, yeah, let's uh, come on over. Now, he came to my shop. He could have seen and done anything. But I wasn't worried about that. I'm not worried about competition. I'm not really worried about that. I'm more worried about building a friendship with people. This is the kind of thing you can do. Now, that guy uh, from him, I've known forever. We talked. I've seen him in the forum groups and stuff. And it was always very, very cordial. He still has a business. I still have a business separate. We're, you know. But when big projects happen, you have it. We did a project one time where um, we had two guys. The, there was a flu season, of course. We had two guys that called out and there was like, literally sick one guy came in uh and was sick at the shop he's like dude i can't do it i'm like go home man i don't want to be sick you shouldn't even come in but because we were short notice i called the dude and i was like hey we had two guys call out we have this giant project lifts on site like we just need to get done he's like can i do an hourly man are you are you free today he's like i'm free afternoon after 12 o'clock he's like i got some route stuff i gotta finish up but uh or uh houses but he pushed his route sweet dude show up he showed up, sure enough, cleaning side by side with a guy from another company. He put my shirt on. I always, if you're subbing with somebody instead of having two companies, I just tell them to put a shirt on. Technically, subbing for me falls under all my liabilities, right? But those are the type of things you get from this. It's just, there's so many positives. The only negative that could possibly happen is somebody might find out the jobs you do. Who cares? If somebody really wanted to, they'd know your jobs anyway. I've heard of people who've done that. Has followed other window cleaners. As soon as they left, they gave them business cards. Like it's awful that they do that, but they could. Who cares, right? Building these relationships is so much more valuable. Really. In my life, I have more relationships with window cleaners that aren't even in my state. Like my real, true friends are guys in the industry. We know each other. We know everything about each other. We vox all the time. We do all, all that stuff is there. And it's all from that. We all have that same understanding. But with that same theory is I can ask them any questions I want. If I have a question on how to do something, I can ask them. If I have a question on what should I use, I can ask them. Say, hey, I'm thinking of, uh, we'll say Jobber. I'm thinking of Jobber. Uh, what are your thoughts on Jobber? Oh, yeah, we use, I use Jobber. I can find somebody who uses everything and get their thoughts on it. And that's what's awesome about it. You can build real friendships with people from Facebook, forum groups, all that stuff. Real relationships. But here's kind of the part where you're going to get the most connection. And this is the plug for the huge convention. I know. So take it with what it is. Every time I say the huge convention, fill it in with any convention or round table. I don't care. That's not what I'm here for. But when I go to the huge convention, and I've gone to other shows, and I always say, go to shows. Go to all the shows. Fine. There's more value in some of them than others, but check them out either way. But going to this stuff is you meet these guys who are under the same assumptions as you. When you said you have a PETA customer, they get it. When you said, I had 22 double-hung storms, they get it. There's something to be said about that, right? Right? And when you're at a convention, guess what? It's a dog park. No one at conventions fights about anything. You can walk up to him and be like, hey, how are you, uh, Steve? Tell me what you charge a window. Uh, yeah, no, normally I charge this, 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 and this, and that. Look, everybody's willing to do that. You can't go to somebody on the street in your town and be like, hey, I'm a, I'm a window cleaner here in town with you. How much do you charge? They're like, what? I'm not telling you. It's completely different. So going to something like the huge convention is... I'm telling you such a valuable thing. The stuff you learn just from talking to people. When you see videos and promos don't necessarily show it, but after everything's done, that 4 o'clock, everybody goes, they shower, they change, they do whatever, just kind of relax for a second, and then all of a sudden the lobby or the lobby bar starts packing up. And there's people and people and people and people. And soon there's hundreds of contractors Hundreds of people's faces you even recognize from different media and YouTubes or whatever. There's lots of guys from the YouTubes there. But there is, actually. You'll see uh, Luke, Steve-O, Fluff Daddy, uh, Aaron. Did I say Steve-O? I said Steve-O. Uh, all of them. Everybody. You're going to meet everybody. Like, 
that's pretty cool. It's just to see those guys because a lot of times these guys have helped you. Uh, I love, love, love people interrupt me in the conversation. Like, hey, sorry to bug you, man. I just want to let you know, man. I, I've learned so much from your show or I appreciate it or whatever. Dude, that's so awesome. So don't ever hesitate walking up to somebody like that. I mean, if I'm in the middle of a sale, I'm trying to do that, then don't think I'm a jerk if I'm not paying too much attention to you. But any other time, dude, I get people all the time just walk up like, oh, man, shake my hand, high five, whatever. It's it's awesome. Best feeling in the world to know that people are kind of getting something back. You know, like those guys that put their orders in through me, it sounds cheesy because you're like, oh, of course, you want the money. Well, yeah, that's super cool. But those guys are guys that actually are like, I've gotten something out of this, and I want to give back to you. I had a guy just the other day, yesterday. He's like, I want to let you know I've been watching your stuff. Love it. I ordered on my own. I felt super bad, uh, and I know I just want to c- contribute back to you, so put that in. Like, that's awesome. That's that's not a, a imp- implication imposed. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. I can put in orders, big, little, all of the orders, all of your orders I put in. That kind of stuff is awesome. Those are people that have gotten something. Maybe I get to meet them at the convention. And that right there is huge. It's so valuable is that to have somebody in your side. To work the network that we're given. Now, 20 years ago, there was no network. There was an email group. People didn't know each other. They just didn't. There was no platform to find each other. Right? Now there is. And if you're not utilizing it, you're losing out on something that's so absolutely awesome that other guys in the industry would kill to have. Other industries. So think about it either way. Go to the convention. If you haven't gone to the convention, go to the thehugeconvention.com and get your tickets. Or call me, man, 862-312-2026. Get your tickets. Yeah. So back to the networking side of it. What can somebody else get from you? Now, when you meet somebody that is bigger than you, You obviously can kind of see what they're doing and don't be intimidated. It's not for the intimidation factor. What it is for is to be able to see how other people may be doing their thing. There's strengthening the market is because people are finding out from each other what they're charging. That's huge. It sounds weird. But when you talk and you're on the same page with educated window cleaners, the whole industry is better. The whole industry is better for that. So learning that from others is super valuable really, really is. But what they can get from you as a little guy, you're like, I got nothing to offer. Why would they want to meet me? Well, it feels good to give back. Maybe that's their, 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 uh, their need or their want or what they feel appreciated because they can give back. But the other side is, is maybe they're subbing work to you. Maybe you're the guy they call and say, Hey, we had somebody drop out. You know, they're sick. We need somebody. We have a big project. Maybe you are, you know, wanting to be full time, but you're not right now, right? So maybe you can go ahead and just, um, you know, offer your services. If you guys ever have a big job, call me. I'll be there, right? Not only are you getting on the site training with them, you get to work with those guys. You get to work with uh, their, you know, see their equipment, how they do things. You could just see everything. You dive into these other companies because you're not part of it, but you're part of it, which is very, very cool. I mean, that is kicking you in leaps and bounds. Leaps and bounds. Another thing is, and you see it a lot on the forums, is guys are shipping each other equipment equipment they don't use anymore. How cool is that? Like, uh, there's a, a, a bucket on a belt that's out there that um, has had a lot of issues. And I, I don't, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to bring it up brand-wise, but... People are saying, hey, I'm done with this thing. It leaks. I don't need it, but I'm sending it to you. It's an expensive thing. People are sending it to somebody else. Maybe they can figure it out, right? I've seen guys who don't use water for poles anymore who who say, man, pay for shipping. You get it. How many guys have stickers? Just shoot stickers out. Like, oh, yeah, of course we got stickers in the company, man. What's your address? And they send them out. Like, little things like that create such a close-knit friendship that is so valuable. And I'm telling you, if you don't have industry friends now, comment down below if you're watching on Facebook. Tell me if you have industry friends. If you don't, tell me why. If you're new, tell me that you're going to get some. Comment down below. It's awesome when you guys do. uh, If you're watching on YouTube. And by the way, if you're on the podcast listening anywhere, because iTunes is going, 
review the podcast. It's super valuable for us. iTunes is kind of going out, but the podcast thing is like this big gray area. Uh, but anyway, it helps. Share, blah, 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 all that stuff. But when you have somebody who you've built a relationship with, you have a friend. Now, I could ask my true friends right now, what, what are you doing uh, for insurance? What's your, what are you charging? What are you pricing? What are you, all the questions you think would be out of the question, if you will, I can ask them. And it doesn't feel stressed. Like people, other people make you better. And if the whole group is ex- kind of going up at the same, it's super valuable. And I'm telling you, you're going to get real, real friends that way. It's really, really a pretty awesome thing. Um, but if you haven't yet, go and find people in your area and talk to them. That's that's the only way you're going to do it. Another thing to kind of find people is Facebook. Facebook is one of those places where there's a lot of groups. If you don't know the groups, uh, Pro Window Cleaning is one of them. Search that. Search uh, Pro Window Cleaning for Newbies, I think. Or search Window Cleaning for Newbies. There is Pressure Washing Resource. Um, just a bunch of groups out there that are really, really good. And all of those groups have people. Now, what you do on Facebook, instead of being a troll, right? Instead of going out and uh, angering people by uh, trying to stir the pot, what you do is you find somebody, you find what they're into. I'm into mountain biking. Big into mountain biking. Love mountain biking. And I get people a couple times a week send me something like, yo, what's up, man? What do you, what do you ride? I saw you like mountain biking. Like, those are genuine questions. Like, genuine questions that make me connect with somebody. It's not like, oh, you don't like water for pull, uh, yeah, wait till you fall, or something weird. Like, that's troll stuff. Don't be a troll. But you can personal message, PM people, call them, send them a message, email, anything, and build relationships that way. People do not have to be in your city for it to be a valuable friendship for both of you. It's super valuable. There's a lot of guys you can just call on. So do that on Facebook. Just go on there. If you're not members, uh, join those groups. Uh, yes, there's always going to be trolls, so don't tell us that there's trolls because there are. We try to keep it clean, but ugh, never-ending battle. But go on there and find somebody that you think is in your area, or not your area, your, your size or your range or where you want to be. Guys are so nice to be able to talk to. You can talk to these people who you think are out of reach, and they're not. Let's go and do that. It's very cool, and I'd love to see more people connecting because it makes the industry, like I said, stronger. If you want to connect with me, my number is 862-312-2026. Text me anytime. Be like, yo, what's up? Send me a question, whatever you want. That's awesome. Uh, If you've tried to be my friend on Facebook, I have like 79 friends on Facebook. I don't normally accept friends on Facebook because, uh, I mean... If you're a window cleaner somewhere else, we don't need to be Facebook friends because I don't care about uh, what you ate for dinner yesterday and you don't care what I ate for dinner yesterday, right? So uh, you don't have to necessarily friend, but there's so much more. Communicate, talk, text, whatever. Put your orders in through me because that would be awesome. And you're bumped into cool kid status. Either way. And go to the huge convention. TheHugeConvention.com and actually find The Huge Convention on Facebook. It is a group that we do videos and leading up we do two of them a week and I think the week before, week of, or two weeks, we do one every single day. It's just with the speakers, with people who've been there, talking to them, kind of getting their insight. It's it's pretty cool. And I'm going to go turn my air conditioning on so that next time I do a video, I'm not like sweating. This is gross. Sorry. This is bright light. It's the light that's doing it. But no, guys, really, if you are uh, in the market for any window cleaning supplies, like I said, I am a rep with windowcleaner.com. Your code this week is competition. If you tell me that code, you get 5% off of your order. But you got to order through me, 862-312-2026, 862-312-2026. I will be happy to put an order in big, small. It doesn't matter. I want to be your rep every single time, forever. That's what I do. And meet me at the huge convention. If you are at the huge convention, I want to say what's up. Shake your hand. Take a picture with you. Do whatever, whatever you can do because I want to meet you guys. Meeting people is the best, greatest thing ever. I'm telling you, it's so awesome. So awesome. So until next week, go out there, meet your competition, find a friend, And uh, go there and be epic.